G'day, I'm Ash. Welcome back to Plane Mechanic Simulator. Now, there has been a reason why I haven't been covering this particular game. It's because my game file uh, had corrupted. And there was a series of bugs which prevented me from actually moving up in the different jobs. It seems that I was, A, in the first save that I did, was repeating the same Spitfire job over and over and over, up to the last video that we did. And then... Also, uh, when I got to that particular mission to try and complete it, there was one part that was actually faulty and is known for being a major problem as being reported as a massive bug. So, uh, hopefully that bug gets squashed, but th thankfully, uh, although I did spend the last 24 hours trying to grind my way up to uh, the Mosquito, the problem is I only got just around towards the, the start to mid-end point of the Spitfire. So... Delta, uh, one of the Patreon supporters, uh, decided to send me his uh, save file. So we're going to take a look at the Mosquito today, and hopefully nothing goes terribly wrong. So yes, let's get stuck into it, shall we? Well, first flight, and already some problems. The oil temperature of the right engine seems a bit too high. See what you can do about it. All right. Uh, the engine randomly drops power. Do what you can do to fix it. I think there's something wrong with the ignition system. Okay, refuel the aircraft, fix the problem with the oil temperature, fix the valve system, and fix the ignition system. Now, considering that I've never touched the uh, Mosquito before, this is going to be quite interesting. I know that the Mosquito has wing fuel tanks, so we're going to start off by doing that. There should be like a little latch on the, on the top of each wing. I don't know how that will play in each game, and hello Spitfires, I have missed you dearly. Although I have been playing you in Isle 2, and in War Thunder, and other games too. Spitfires, I should say. Now let's go quickly grab the ladder. What we're going to go do is we're going to go fill up the fuel tanks. Now, do I need to place it over here? Let's just double check that we can actually see these guys, because I have no idea. There should be a fuel filler port just here. Okay, is this fuel filler port? Left in a wing door. Huh. There's another one right here. Alright, so I was correct. Alright, let's get back down here. Uh, hello, 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 okay. Pick up the ladder, we'll race over to the other side. We'll take out the, uh, how can, I, can I take out the other one? Am I lucky, can I? Yes, sneaky. Take out the uh, fuel caps as well while we're here. Should have done that one. I was here at the other one. I've heard that it is an absolute pain to uh, actually take off everything and put it all on together. All right. Let's see. We're going to do the refueling first because I, I, I mean, you should really do that last. In she goes. All right. Start the bows are going. There we go. We're filling her up. 30 gallons. So she only needs 30 gallons. Not bad. That means it didn't fly too far away. Alright. Put the space, uh, put the hose away. Welcome to refueling simulator. Uh, and then we're going to pick up the hose again and go up the ladder again. And here we go. Rinse and repeat. I might actually edit all this out. Alright, we're finally on the, uh, <laughs> the other wing. There's two other tanks in between. It's a bit tedious. I see what people mean by uh, it's 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 annoying to refuel the uh, the mosquito. You've got four points and you have to each individually move the uh, ladder to each task. Alright, we're done that one. Now what do we have to do? Uh, fix the problem with the oil temperature, fix the valve system, fix the ignition system. What we'll do is we'll put all the fuel caps back on so we don't forget about those. Make sure we put away the hose. There we go. Right. Let's, let's put put everything back on. So the outer wings can hold a hundred octane of fifty six imperial gallons. So is this one damaged again? It is damaged again. I want to say again, I took a brief look at it uh, before starting this. Alright, so what we're going to do, uh, take off the bottom radiator here, unscrew these, take off that, out comes the damaged radiator, now what do we have to do? Fix the problem with the oil temperature, that should fix the problem with the oil temperature. I 
All right, there we go. We've got everything off that we need to. Now we can sort of inspect all the parts. Left magneto, the rocker covers. Oh, the, the, the Mosquito is absolutely gorgeous aircraft. Manifolds, let's just, let's just scan those anyway. Cylinder heads, coolant pipes, hydraulic pumps, air compressors. The list just goes on. Uh, oh, engine starter. Pristine. Okay, left oil control valve. I'm going to check that as well. Uh, is there anything in here that we can have a look at? Just trying to get a good camera angle on some of these confusing parts. I wish the sun wasn't so bright. So many goddamn screws. Alright, there we go. Those valves are okay. There's none that are unidentified here. So it's just this one right here. Okay, so it was just the valve. Well, I can't find uh, these other radiators, so I'm just gonna have to. Uh, I'm just gonna have to wing it, and we'll see where we go from here. These ignition wires go to magnetos. The magnetos are perfectly intact. It says there's something with the fixed valve system. Can do. I don't know about the ignition system. You think there's something wrong with the ignition system? Well, my my initial advice is perfectly okay everything here is green everything i've taken everything off maybe is it something to do with um the wheel case or something i don't know we're taking all the magnetos off to find out because this is a it's quite an obnoxiously annoying as you can imagine and there, there, you can't take off absolutely everything with of the, uh, the vehicle either. Why am I spending all this time doing this? If everything here is just pristine, I mean, just look at this. Why am I pulling it apart? I'm wasting me time. Fucking hell. Just been doing it on this engine all along. Just take everything out. Looks like there's been a leak of oil everywhere over this, uh... Let's take off the cylinder block. Is everything fine in here? There's nothing wrong with these. Take off the gasket. Take off this. Piston ring, they're all pristine. Well, I think I'm missing something here. Let's take out... I'm just going to take out everything and see what I can repair. This is ridiculous. No, sir. Out the induction pipe. Let's go. Let's tear down everything. I, I'm, I'm that infuriated by this. Fuel filter's fine. Supercharger. Could it be the supercharger? Pristine. Oh, for fuck's sake. This is actually irritating me. Fuel pump. Okay, let's take out the fuel pump. Fine, let's just, let's just disassemble the whole entire fucking aircraft, why don't we? You know what, for once I might actually just say fuck it and I, I'm, you know, giving up here. It's too much. Like, I want to do this on the other engine too, as well. you got to keep that in mind as well. It's on the other engine. 
Maybe I'm, maybe I'm not looking correctly. No, because we definitely tore down absolutely everything that was possible within this aircraft as well. Or this side of the, uh... uh this side of the, the, the engine as well. So, I mean... I don't know. And imagine doing this with four bombers or four aircraft, you know? Oh, God. I, 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 I just feel sorry for anyone who has to actually do that. I mean, yes, I do enjoy aircraft maintenance. In a video game setting, it's a little different to uh, a world, like, in a in real world. And this, this is as close as it can get for some of us. And while I appreciate the game, this is just utterly disappointing. All right. I don't know what else to say. Like, I, I still haven't... All right, we know that the valve system, I can fix the valve system. I don't know about the ignition system, though. Replace. Spark plug. It was just a couple of spark plugs, was it? Was that all? Was that all? Alright, on you go. I reckon, um... I reckon this is it for me. I reckon this is the last uh, play mechanics in video I do until they update some other stuff. Um... There's, there's real no, there's no real goal to the game aside from just maintaining a bunch of aircraft. And I hate to say it because I really like this game. But if it's going to be an absolute twat, like it has provided, like I checked all of the cylinders, I checked everything. You know, this is just, there's just no need for this amount of stupid. Just put that in. Just go put the other one in as well. We're gonna have to put in. We're gonna have to put everything back together because all all the uh, all the spark plugs were green. Let's put in the two drives. Let's put in all the valves. We'll deal with the engine side of things first. At this rate, we've been here for nearly an hour. I'm not joking either. Like, it's good maintaining aircraft, but at some point it just gets fucking tedious. And this is this is what it's like in the in real world. And uh, this is probably why... The rules, regulations, you know, air safety, air travel is, is paramount nowadays. It's understandable why, why they're so... ...particular. I remember having to fill in... As a part of my training, I remember having to, having to fill in like 20 pages of just signing signatures of things to say that I had correctly... Um, that I had correctly uh, put in like a screw and tightened it up to the correct, you know, tension. And all this, this, this is all that crap you have to do. Alright, we've done one engine, now we need to go do the other. So that's how long it takes to get done. Um, I don't even know. Like, this is only two engines. You imagine doing a Lancaster, you'd be here for nearly four hours. Like, it's absolutely, absolutely ridiculous. Let's put the wheelhouse back in. I've got to put all these extra components that I pulled out for no reason. Fuel pumps, etc., etc. Hydraulic pumps. Put the supercharger back in. It's all got to go in. Let's 
all the magnetos back together. Uh, let's put the ignition wires, screw that in. Induction pipe. There we are. Let's put the starter engine back in as well. Hopefully everything here works. Let's put the bottom engine cowling in, considering that that's all now done. Now, we're going to do this like six or seven times. It just gets absolutely tedious. I mean, I love the Mosquito. The Mosquito is a beautiful aircraft, and I respect all the, the crews who had to do this in real life. But my god, it just makes me appreciate like how much work these guys put into making and maintaining these machines. I, I'm, I'm, I'm very thankful uh, that the older generation taught some people, uh, especially now that there's hardly anyone left, that you know you work hard and you get stuff done. And this is tedious, but I'm playing a video game. Imagine having to crawl over all of this. Imagine having to. I mean, it wouldn't it'd be the dream, wouldn't it? But you understand what I'm saying. Right. It, it might be tedious in, in a video game setting, and it might be really, really obnoxious. But, uh, at, at least you can appreciate the engineering and the effort that these guys went to to make quality machines that worked for, you know, times of need. The Mosquito was mostly made out of wood. It's, it's quite fascinating construction. The only parts being made out of, uh, metal were obviously around the engine, ar and around the, uh, around the cockpit here so the cockpit part itself bolts on sort of with the bulkhead the wing spars are mainly made out of wood but the majority of the aircraft is made out of wood it's just like this inner section where the landing gear is that's made out of metal the rest the wings made out of wood everything's just it's it's absolutely fantastic it just it just makes you realize how lucky we are to have you know some of these machines still flying thanks to people um, around the world, like we've got probably what four flying mosquitoes left in the world. And if you've heard or heard two um, Merlins going side by side, it is a, a strange sensation, a, a very su superb feeling. And um, I, know, I know that I was mad earlier on about about doing this, but you get a, a, a sincere appreciation for the hard work that, that the people did. And it wasn't just the pilots, it wasn't just the, you know, the bomber crews, it was the people on the ground maintaining, doing all the logistics. You know, you got to think about them as well. Um, an Air Force just doesn't run by just having a bunch of planes. you got to have the, the backup personnel with it. And uh, while I am qualified as an aviation... Uh, sorry, an AME, an aircraft maintenance engineer, um, it... It fills me with pride that because of these guys, we have safety standards these days. Um, and because of these guys, we uh, we maintain, you know, high levels of proficiency in whatever we do. And I know I'm frustrated at this game because it's taking me, taking me an hour when it really should have just been like a half an hour job. A full engine rebuild could take, a, you know, a full day. And you probably have two people uh, working on each engine, at least. So, you know, a big shout out to the Penguins, uh, as they're, they're, they're nicknamed, because they really did all the work. It was them who repaired the aircraft. It was they who kept the, you know, the, the machine going. There we are, we've installed it back. And now we should we should have everything. Everything should be back installed. We should be good to go. Um, so let's just take a look at the, the mosquito. She's an utterly beautiful machine. Um, there's not much else to say. Uh, yeah, we'll see if this game has an actual ending where the guy gets promoted to a flight sergeant or something along those lines. Um, but that's really it. 
I hope you've enjoyed all the plane mechanics sim videos on the channel. Um, do stick around, there might be some more. Uh, also, thumbs up if you want to see, and, and comment down below if you want to see some tank mechanics simulator. That'll probably drive me up the wall as well. This is about the limit as to what I go to. Tiger moths are very easy, very easy to maintain. I know a lot about tiger moths. Spitfires I know a little bit about. I'm not an expert on them. I certainly don't know all of their operational history. It's fascinating. Mosquitoes are just another bit higher. Imagine if they had like a Lancaster or something in this game. And while I hope that they continue to update this game, I'll be following the development very closely because I do enjoy it, even though I hated working on this particular aircraft. Let's see. We've got everything done. It's signed to complete, shall we? Fix the problem with the oil temperature. Check all spark plugs. Harmonize machine guns. Perfect job! You couldn't ask for more. Alright guys, thank you very much for watching. My name's Ash, and I'll catch you in the next one.